Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever wondered why you and a person just won't get along, even if you've known each other for a long time? Do you often feel like there's some kind of barrier between you and them? If you do, then it's possible that you're incompatible with them, meaning that you're not likely suited for each other. So here are six signs you are incompatible with someone. One, you argue in different styles. Arguing is a normal phenomenon between human interactions. However, how you argue and handle conflict with the other person is important to consider whether your relationship or friendship is compatible or not. Do you tend to explode, yell, or scream when you're upset? You might be seen as reckless by someone who has a reserved personality. Or do you tend to just shut down and take off altogether? You might be seen as cold or aloof by someone who has a passionate personality. These extreme differences can cause a lot of emotional strain in your relationship and make it hard to get to the core of the conflict and resolve the argument. Two, your lifestyles vary. Do you have different ways to relax, such as reading a book and doing yoga versus socializing with friends and going out for karaoke? Or perhaps you're a night owl, but they're an early bird. While having different hobbies and beliefs are normal, it's also important to find some things that are suited for both of you to enjoy. The difference in lifestyle habits may later become a source of conflict for your relationship. Three, you have trouble communicating. The way you communicate with each other is also very important to your relationship. Perhaps one of you tends to disregard your own emotions or how others feel and only focus on what's logical, while the other person focuses on how things make them feel and the importance of emotions more than the logical facts. This difference in communication style may lead to difficulties in the long run. Four, your values and principles are very different is your partner, friend, or sibling constantly late when you plan to meet up? When you complain or try to talk to them about it, they shrug it off or don't even see what the big deal is. In this case, you value punctuality and they don't. Little things like this can show you what your values are and what theirs are. It's important for both of you to share similar or have common values for your relationship to go far. Five, you no longer have things in common. Were you interested in their likes and dislikes at first? Did you enjoy finding out about their hobbies and interests? While getting to know each other is fun and exciting in the beginning, you might later find that there aren't that many things you share in common. You may even feel frustrated that you can't be yourself around them since you don't actually enjoy the things they like. It's important to have things you share in common and to do things you both enjoy. And six, you can no longer tolerate them or the relationship. Do they refuse to change or talk with you when you encounter a problem in your relationship? Despite the times you've forgiven each other, you may start to feel tired of the unchanging situation. No matter how we may want to talk about a problem or suggest some possible solutions, they don't wanna hear it or don't want anything to change. If you feel like you can't tolerate them or the situation you're in any longer, it's a sign you might not be compatible with them anymore. Do you relate to any of these signs? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go for more helpful videos. Also, the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.